Today we're taking a look at how to remove backgrounds in your pictures using only one click. Sounds too good to be true? Okay, maybe. Let's dive into it. What's up guys, my name is Francois, welcome to this brand new channel and thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful day. This video is part of a playlist on how to conquer Photoshop. I'll be releasing tutorials just like this one every single week, so make sure you give this video a like and get subscribed so you don't miss any future ones. The technique I'm about to show you has some drawbacks, but I'm also going to show you how to easily work around them and make it work in your advantage, so make sure you stick until the end of the video, otherwise this one-click wonder will be completely useless to you. Right, so if you're ready, then grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get cracking. Firstly, make sure you're using Photoshop CC20 and open up your pictures. Unlock the layer, go to your property tabs, and if you're not sure where it is, just go to Windows, scroll to Properties, and you will see this hidden little option there. Ta-da! Depending on your screen size or your layout, you might even have to scroll to get to it. It's almost as if Adobe didn't want us to use this function. Click on it, and Photoshop will run its AI engine called Adobe Sensei to determine what is in the picture. So what is in the background, what is in the foreground, what it is that you're trying to isolate, essentially. And that's pretty much done. The best use case for this option is if you, for example, making thumbnails or little edits where you don't really need to go into detail and do a precise selection of your subject. Or you can even do stuff like that, or stuff like that, and even stuff like that. Now let's take a look at another use case where you might run into some problem and let's see how to fix them. Let's say you're working on an already existing project and you're importing your picture into it. You'll see that the remove background and select subject options are missing from the properties tab. Mm. That's the first issue, but that's easily fixable. The reason why it's missing is because our selected layer is a smart object. Right click on it and select rasterize layer. So now we have the options here. Whew, that was close. So now let's click on remove background and see what we get. Sick. Okay, so now we have a big problem. The AI only selected the similar skin tones and has completely ignored the jacket, the bag, and all the rest of the details. The good thing is that this technique only applies a mask, which means we're working with a non-destructive tool, and that's key. So what you can do is get your brush tool, select the layer mask, and start painting over the part that you want to bring back, like the jacket and the bag. That's the more precise option. Or you can go to select, select and mask, click on this icon, which is the quick selection tool, or press W on your keyboard, then click and drag over the parts that you want to get back. This, in my opinion, is the fastest way, but depending on your picture, you might still have to go back and paint the edges anyway. The choice is up to you, but either way, you now know how to remove backgrounds with this simple one-click method, and how to fix it with about 10 more clicks. <laughs> There you go, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did, you can give this video a like, you'd get subscribed and hit the notification bell. Also, if you're wondering what to watch next, I recommend you to watch this video right here. Thanks again for watching. My name is Francois. See you in the next video. Hey! <laughs>